Hey everybody, I'm Mr. J, the children's librarian at the East Cobb Library, and welcome to Family Art Time. As last time, we, our theme is going to be tales and tales. So all of our stories are going to be about animals, and then at the end, we're going to do a craft, which I will show you how to put together. So we're going to be reading a really funny book called Sheep Dog and Sheep Sheep. Let's get started. All right, let's read Sheep Dog and Sheep Sheep by Eric Barkley. Look at all those sheep. There we go. Ready? This is Sheep. She loves to dance. She knows all kinds of fancy dances, like the wildflower dance the mud puddle dance, the get this spider off me dance, and of course, the pee pee dance. Dancing makes her very happy, and when she's happy, she closes her eyes, and when she closes her eyes, she bumps into things, usually trees. But one day, she bumped into something that wasn't a tree, it was a someone. A very hairy someone. Holy begonia, she said. Who are you? I'm the sheepdog, the someone replied. I watch the sheep. Well, I'm a sheep sheep. I watch sheep too. Everyone knows I'm an expert at watching sheep. I don't know how you can be much of a sheep watcher with all that hair in your eyes. But I can fix that for you. Be right back. She skipped off toward the farmhouse. Just then, Sheepdog spotted an eagle overhead. It was looking at sheep like a mouse looks at cheese. Uh-oh. The eagle dived. But Sheepdog told him to vamoose. That means to get out of here. Sheep found Sheepdog waiting for her outside the farmhouse. And she tied his hair into a pretty bow. Look at that pretty bow. Now you'll be able to see the sheep, she said. Except you're still missing something very important. I'll be right back. Sheepdog looked around. It was true he could see a little better with his hair pulled up. There was the shed and the apple tree and the coyote. Oh no, a coyote. Let's see what happens. Coyote. Sheepdog told him to skedaddle. That means to get out of there. Sheep returned with some binoculars. Here you go, she said. Now you'll be able to keep a sharp eye out for eagles and coyotes. Now I don't suppose you have a map under all this hair, do you? Sheepdog shook his head no. Well, you're going to need a map so you won't get lost. Be right back. She danced her way toward the old truck to retrieve a map. The dance made her very happy. She closed her eyes, and because her eyes were closed, she couldn't see that. But Sheepdog did. Look at that, she's gonna dance right over top of him. Sheep kept on dancing. She had some extra fancy moves. Like most of Sheepdog's dances, this one ended with a bump on the head, but she had meant to do that. Really? She bumped right into that truck, didn't she? Sheep finished the map out of the, out of the glove box and handed it to Sheepdog. You're all set. You've got a hair bow so you can see, binoculars to keep an eye out for danger, and a map 
so you won't get lost. Sheep thought for a moment. Now we, all we need are the sheep. She looked around, not a sheep in sight. She borrowed Sheepdog's binoculars. Still no sheep. She unfolded the map. Yep, they were definitely in sheep country. Where are all the sheep? She asked. Did you lose them? Look, she's so upset. She blew off his bow. Came right off. You're the only sheep, Sheepdog said. Oh. Sheep sat down and thought about being only a sheep and not really a sheep sheep. And when she thought, she got very still. And when she got still, she got very quiet. Thinking could do that. Finally, Sheepdog spoke. Maybe you're not a sheep sheep. Maybe you're a dog sheep. And your job is to watch the dog. After a moment, Sheep replied, Well, of course I'm a dog sheep. Everyone knows I'm an expert at watching dogs. The end. I love that story. It's so funny. All right. Go ahead and get your craft supplies out and we're going to make our craft for this week. See you in a second. All right. So today we're going to do our craft. And if you've already picked up your craft and you've looked at it, you can probably guess what it's going to be. It's going to be our very own sheep sheep. And then we can have them dance and watch the dog and it'll be super fun. So let's go ahead and put them together right now. Now, Mr. J knows from last time that he goofed. I rewatched my video and there were a couple of times where I had everything upside down. And I'm so sorry about that. I'm gonna try to make this one the right way. So, you're gonna dump out all your supplies and you should have a couple of cotton balls, some pieces for the sheep's body, or maybe we could say for the sheep's body. You're gonna have a couple of googly eyes and a big white looking cloud thing. And of course, your green grassy background. Now, for this one, I definitely recommend having a glue stick, but I also highly recommend having liquid glue. Now you could do it with all just liquid glue, but unfortunately the glue stick will not glue down these cotton balls very well. So I would definitely use the liquid glue if it's the only one you have, but if you have both, it's gonna work better. So let's gather all of our things and let's start making it. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do Take your glue stick and we're going to glue the sheep's legs. Now, um, you're just going to put some glue on one side here, just like that. And put one of the legs on the bottom. I know it looks like the top, but I'm going to flip it here in just a second for you. Put our legs just like that. And you can have them angled, you can have them straight up and down, whatever you want. So the next thing we're gonna do is, this is little funky little cloud is actually our sheep's body and it's gonna go over top of the legs. So pick a side, it doesn't matter, you can turn it whichever way you want it, whatever you want, we're gonna make it work. And put lots and lots of stick glue because this is going to be our foundation and you want to make sure it's all covered. Now, in the demo, the legs on the sheep are very, very long. But in real life, a sheep kind of has short legs. Now, you can pick whatever length of legs you want, but I want my sheep to have stubby little cute legs. Kind of like a corgi. 
corgi puppies. They have short little stubby legs. So this is how mine is, but if you want them to be longer, or even if you want them to be shorter, you totally can. This is your craft, and nobody but nobody is going to tell you how to do it. Okay, so once we get that set up, we're going to set it aside, and we're going to work on the head. Now again, you can pick whichever side you want for the head, it doesn't matter, and you can use um, the liquid glue for this. It works better than the uh, solid glue. So we're going to use two little dots. We don't want to use too much because if you use too much glue, it makes a mess. So you're going to put two little dots kind of in the middle, maybe a little higher than the middle. And then you're going to stick down your googly eyes. See, Mr. J used too much. I tried putting little teeny dots, but I used a little bit too much. So that's okay. When it dries, it'll be mostly clear. You won't even be able to tell. So there is our sheep's head. All right. Now, this is the fun part for kids. Maybe not as much for parents. So now we're going to glue our wool onto the sheep. Now, you can do it however you want to, but you want to try to cover as much of this surface as you can with wool. And it works best, again, with the liquid glue. So you can do it a couple of ways. You can either put just a lot of glue all over this thing and then post your things on there. That actually probably might work best. But Mr. J likes to avoid mess, and I also like to use as little glue as possible. So I'm going to put the glue right onto the cotton ball and then pat it down. And I like to kind of line it up with the edges of the sheep here. But again, you know what? You can do whatever you want. You don't have to line them up. Has anyone ever seen a real sheep before? I have seen them before at a petting zoo. And one time I went to a pumpkin patch and they had some there. And they really do say, bah. One time I was there with my son and he was, he had just turned, I think, three. And one of the sheep bought at him. It's called bleating. Not bleeding, you know what that bleating. Sheep bleated at my son and it scared him. They can be very loud when they want to be. But I think they're funny. So uh, I didn't do a perfect job here, but I did as good as I could. I think I'm gonna have one. Um, cotton ball that I can't use. Yeah, I could have made this a little bit better. Maybe I still can. Maybe I can. Maybe I can squish it in here. That's what I'm going to try to do. Because I want to use all my cotton balls. I don't want to have an extra one. What am I going to do with a regular cotton ball? There we go. So yeah, you might need to squish it in there a little bit, but that's okay. All right. So. Now that we've got all of our cotton balls on our body and we got our little legs, the last thing to do, of course, is to glue on the head. And you're going to really want to use, again, that liquid glue and just put a nice little kind of a medium sized dab right there. And then you're going to take your head, flip it over, put a little dot on each ear that a little bit like that maybe a little bit near the bottom too and then we're gonna put it right here on that dab and just be very careful if you haven't had time I know I'm going kind of quick but if you haven't given this thing a lot of time to dry then parts of it can still kind of move around so you want to make sure you're careful and you don't accidentally push an eye loose or knock off a one of your cotton balls but that's it. It's all together now. We've got our little sheep. 
And if you want to, of course, you can always embellish this more. You could draw like a farm. Maybe you could draw the sheepdog or the coyote. But you could do whatever you want, or you can just leave it green. That's okay. And then there you go. You got your googly eyes, and you've got your very own sheep sheep. All right. Well, thank you guys for joining me. And hopefully we will see you in two weeks when we do the next one. Thank you so much. Bye.